and right now I'm gonna show you how I make vanilla cheese with all this quarantine going on and vanilla is like the best and I am gonna show you my goals and go. Do this right here. You can't do it or what? Yes, I can do it. That's how you do it. Yeah? That's how you do it. Baby goat. <laughs> These are that one and that one's mom. Let me get the goat up. What happened, baby? Don't lie. Crazy. Look, look, look. He's trying to pick. Give me. Where's our set? Oh, if you want to make vanilla cheese, you're going to need a cow or a goat. We have our goat, and we are going to stir the milk in the bu bucket to make vanilla cheese. Or milk in our goat to make vanilla cheese. Little <laughs> small taste. Whoa, that's really good. Well, two goats give a gallon a day because these goats are feeding their their baby. When the ducks come to ask for milk. We have the goat milk. It's time for the progress of vanilla cheese. We're just filtering in the milk. Is that so there won't be any hairs yes. in it? Yes. Nice. And we have to do it. Alright, we have to put two drops of rennet in the milk. Mix the rennet um, in the milk. We are going to let this sit for three hours. To make panela, you have to block the panela on top. You have to get a spoon and put it across it, and then you just have to go like that. It's time to try the panela cheese. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
What, it tastes like crab? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really good. Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought you were like, oh my god, it's not good. So, panela cheese is goat milk, milk that turns into cheese. Yeah. And what I don't understand is you're so young and you like this. Why? Because I have goats. Because you have goats, okay. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. And I like panela cheese. Great. So what are you gonna? What do you usually eat your panela cheese with? Just, just chips, the with chips, chips or some chips Mexican or salsa or no? No. No. Okay. Got you. Um, I eat some huevo. Huevo. What about you, Seth? Mommy, I, I, I like chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Seth. Uh, y yo tenía una chiva flaca. Y por eso la maté, le vendí 14 pesos, lo demás me lo tragué. La lengua mandé guisarla porque ya estaba muy negra y tuve que utilizarla poniéndose la mi suegra. Mi, 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 mi. Las ubres también sirvieron sin haberlo pensado antes Que pronto se convirtieron en unos cómodos guantes Me, 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 me Pa' los cuernos no hay clientes si no los logro vender Lo llevaré yo en mi frente, me los tendré que poner Me, 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 me Ya con esta me despido, pues ya no tengo saliva. Ahí se reparten los huesos de esta condena la chiva. Me, 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 me.